This is the rain that's causing some major problems for weekend events. One of them, the Brookside Arts Fair. The cold rain and the winds canceled the show last night. And our Jamie Oberg shows us how the weather put a damper again today on opening day. Despite the weather being unusually cold for May, the crowds here at the Brookside Art Fair are pretty steady. The biggest difference you'll notice right away when you walk in the tent last year, people were asking for this design in tank tops. This year, they'll probably sell out of sweatshirts. This is awful. I'm cold. This, this is gray and soupy and coats, winter hats and gloves needed opening day of the Brookside Arts Fair. This is what people were wearing at last year's show. Thousands wait all year for this event to get inspiration, buy art, or see their favorite artist. Even in upper 30 degree weather, not too much complaining in the crowds. It's going to snow. It's going to be bad weather, but I, it wasn't going to deter me from coming. To be honest with you, I think this is the best of the three years I've been here. It's always been wonderful. It's always been covered, even when it's 90, and now when it's horrible, it's still okay. This couple from Prairie Village actually prefer the slightly smaller crowds seen opening day. That's a nice sized crowd today. You don't uh, have to be looking over the heads of a thousand people at every booth, so it uh, does have some benefits as well. Rain or shine, we were actually we would have come last night, yeah. um, but it was postponed. Folks in Kansas City know to be ready for drastic weather changes. It was the artists from other states maybe needing some comfort. It's cold and wet, and I everyone's giving me extra gear to like put on, but it's a beautiful show. There's so many wonderful, wonderful artists here. The Arts Fair expects the crowds to get bigger if the weather warms up. They also expect to see some more people out here tomorrow. They are open from 11 to 5. Reporting in Brookside, Jamie Oberg, 41 Action News.